Shoulder pain. Shoulder pain is most commonly associated with injury to the muscles, tendons, and ligaments within the shoulder. However, this pain can also originate from the area of the cervical spine and radiate from the neck into the arm. There are two main joints within the shoulder, the acromioclavicular joint and the glenohumeral joint. The glenohumeral joint is the shoulder joint. The acromion and the clavicle combine to form the acromioclavicular joint or the AC joint. The glenohumeral joint is a ball and socket joint which involves articulation between the head of the humerus and the glenoid fossa of the scapula. There are four major muscles of the shoulder joint that are responsible for movement of the shoulder. These are the four muscles, the subscapularis, the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, and the teres minor muscles. In addition to the four muscles, the biceps muscle is an important shoulder and the elbow muscle. The four shoulder muscles can be in front or in the back of the shoulder. The subscapularis muscle is present in front of the shoulder. Here you can see the relationship between the subscapularis muscle and the two heads of the biceps muscle. The supraspinatus is a relatively small but important muscle that runs from the top portion of the scapula and inserts into the top of the humeral head. And from the back position or the posterior position, the muscles of the shoulder joint include the infraspinatus and the teres minor muscles. These muscles of the shoulder combine to form a thick cuff important in stabilizing the shoulder as well elevating and rotating the arm. Common causes of shoulder pain include impingement. 50% of all patients going to a doctor for shoulder pain will have an impingement syndrome. With rotator cuff tendinitis, raising the arm is painful. Elevation of the arm causes squeezing of the bursa located above the supraspinatus tendon and below the acromion. Bursitis is a frequent cause of shoulder pain and usually occurs in conjunction with an impingement syndrome. Irritation of this bursa will often cause pain due to overuse. Tears of the rotator cuff is a common cause of pain associated with the shoulder. Most tears occur in the supraspinatus muscle and they can be either partial or complete, with complete tears of the tendon usually requiring surgery. With tears of the rotator cuff, patient is unable to raise the arm. Biceps syndinitis is a condition that affects the area where the biceps muscle meets the front of the shoulder. The pain is in front of the shoulder. Tendinitis of the biceps usually develops as a result of rotator cuff tendinitis. The labrum is a cuff of tissue surrounding the rim of the glenoid, which helps to keep the head of the humerus in place within the shoulder joint. Tears of the labrum are often associated with significant shoulder pathology. Two of the most common types of labral injuries are the slap tear and the bankert lesion. A slap tear is different from a bankert lesion. A slap tear is not common and it is difficult to diagnose. The slap tear occurs at the point where the tendon of the biceps muscle inserts on the labrum. The pain is deep within the shoulder or in the back of the shoulder.
patient complains of catching, popping, or clicking sensation, pain when throwing a ball, and pain with overhead activities. O'Brien test is the most commonly used test for the diagnosis. MRI arthrogram is usually helpful. Bankart lesion occurs as a result of dislocation of the shoulder when an individual sustains a shoulder dislocation that ultimately tears the labrum. The AC joint is located at the top of the shoulder where the acromion of the scapula and the clavicle join together. This joint can be affected by inflammation, by arthritis, by osteolysis, or injury. Osteolysis of the distal end of the clavicle can be seen, especially in weight lifters. Another common cause of shoulder pain is arthritis of the shoulder. The patient will have global pain with decreased painful range of motion that is restricted, and the x-ray will show the arthritis. The treatment of shoulder pain depends entirely on the cause of the problem. If you are not sure about the cause of your shoulder pain, or if you do not know the specific treatment recommendation for your condition, you should seek medical attention. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.